Hello, in this video, I'm going over searching and alerting in Microsoft OMS Log Analytics. Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to go over searching and alerting in Microsoft OMS Log Analytics. This isn't intended to be a deep dive into searching and alerting, but hopefully it's enough to get you started searching for events in OMS and setting up alerts on those events. Okay, at this point you should have a OMS workspace set up and at least a couple of servers logging to that workspace. Uh, if not, you can go back to my previous videos and uh, walk through setting up an OMS workspace and configuring servers to log to that workspace. All right, with that, let's get started. I'm gonna get started by going into my OMS workspace and I'm gonna do a log search. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is search for everything. So I do that by just typing in search space asterisk. Now, if I hit enter, it brings me to the next line. I don't want to do that though. Um, I want to run the command. So you can either come over and click on run or the easier way is shift and enter. Shift enter will run the command. So here, this is going to pull back everything that I have logged uh, within the last, uh, whatever the time set, in this case, one day. Um, this works fine for smaller environments or test environments, but if you had hundreds or thousands of servers, um, mixed environments with Windows, Linux, uh, maybe some appliances that are sending syslog data, uh, that's going to be a whole lot and probably your scope is going to be too big and it could impact the time it takes to do your search. So because I know that I want only Windows event logs, I'm going to just type in event. And uh, it's event with a capital E. So if I run that, it's going to bring back uh, <clears throat> 393 events, uh, and then it's got the computers and the event level name. So I've got information, success, uh, error, and warning. Now, I want to search for event 6005 in the uh, system log. That uh, indicates that a server was restarted. I think it's the uh, event log starting is the uh what that uh triggers or what that event indicates um that's just something that that comes up when the server restarts so i'm going to search for that um i know that that is in the uh, system log and i think it's a warning so um over here you can see though i don't have a way of specifying which event log so i'm going to go in here and click add and scoot over and down here, uh, it starts with 11 event uh, information. You can see the computer's checked, and I'm seeing that. But I'm going to go back all the way up here, and I'm going to select event ID and event log. And then close that out. Now we can see in the uh, selector over here on the left, in addition to computer name and event, uh, event level name. I also have event IDs and event log. So I'm going to select the system. Oh, I have to hit apply. Okay, now I want event 6005. I don't see it over here. I do have more, so I guess I could keep looking for it. But instead of doing that, if I know I want a specific event, I can click there. I can select any event and apply. Now it's building the query over here for a, that's going to search the events, search the system log, and it's going to look for event uh, right now, uh, 7036. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to change that to 6005 and run it. And here you can see I have one event 6005. That is the OMS test 01. Um, I can see what that is. So yeah, the event log service was started. So this is the query I want. So the first thing I'm going to do is save this search. Um, I'm gonna add it and I'll call it event 6005. And 
and I guess it's asking me for the actual query. So I can go over here and copy that. Okay, so now that query is added, and if I want to run it again, I can simply go down and select it from the save searches. Okay, so next I need to alert on that, but before I go into alerts, I need to set up a alert group. So if I go into uh, search for alerts, and it's actually monitor is what I want to go into. And in a monitor, and a monitor is, um, Action group. So an action group is going to define what happens when the alert's triggered. So I'm going to switch my subscription and add an action group. So I'll call this email me. And under action name email. Action type will be email, SMS, push voice, but you can see I have other options here such as Azure Functions, Logic App, Webhook, uh, ITSM, and Automation Runbook. So you can see how you can set up alerts to trigger things, not just alerts, you can also have it run actions. Um, maybe if there's an event and you want, to, you want it to restart a server, you could do that with an Automation Runbook or a Logic App. But for now, I'm just doing... Um, an email. Um, here we can do email, SMS, uh, push notifications, and a voice. Uh, it looks like it'll do a voice call as well. So there, I'm going to click OK to there, and OK. Okay, now it has the uh, action set up. So I'm gonna go back to Log Analytics and set up an alert. So I'm gonna go into Log Searches and I should just be able to pull up that same search. And I'm gonna create a new alert role. So here's the alert target, um, alert action. Let's go into there. So it says uh, whenever uh, it's going to run this query, and when it returns, uh, the number of results is greater than uh, one. In my case, I want to know every time it alerts. It's going to evaluate every five minutes and go back every five minutes. Now I'm going to define the details, so we'll call this one 6005 server restart. And I can set a severity, I'm going to do informational, uh, enable the rule once it's created, and here's where I define an action group. So I'm going to select an action group and select email me and create the rule. Okay, so that rule has been created. Um, let's see if it works. So in order to get this to work, I'm gonna go into PowerShell and I have a couple commands here that will write to the event log. So I'm going to write, I'm going to change this from event ID 2001 to 6005. And if I run this, it's going to write to the event log, uh, event 6005. So now if we go into event viewer and do a refresh, there it is, uh, event ID 6005 with the detail that I put. If you want to see more on how uh, these, this, how I can create these event logs this way, um, 
there's more information on my blog on how to do this kind of ad hoc, but also add event log logging into PowerShell scripts. So that's it. Um, if I check my phone, Yep, so I got the email notification of event 6005. So that's all there is to it. Um, I hope this helps you get started with event log searching and alerting. Thanks for watching.